In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add the rotation action to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. If you would like to try this exercise along with me, you will find a link to the exercise file in the description below. The rotation action will give us quick access to the rotate command when dealing with dynamic blocks. I'll begin by double clicking on my clump of trees that I have here to get into my block editor. Then I will head to my parameters tab on my authoring palettes and choose my rotation parameter. The first point I'm going to click is going to be the base point of the rotation. So I'll go ahead and choose the origin point here as the center of my rotation. The second point is to specify the radius of the parameter. This is essentially where the grip is going to go. So I'll go ahead and put this somewhere inside the tree here. Next, if you think about the rotate command in AutoCAD, by default it uses the zero degree angle as the base angle for rotation. So here in the command line it's asking me for the default rotation angle and I can press enter to accept zero. Here I can see I've added the rotation parameter and now I just need to add the rotation action. So I'll switch to my actions tab, choose the rotate action, I'm prompted to select a parameter, so I will select my angle one parameter I created earlier. Then I am prompted to select the objects I want to rotate. I can select a subset of objects if I only want to rotate a certain portion of a block, or in my case, I'll go ahead and select all of the geometry to rotate the entire block. Then press enter. And just like that, I've added the rotate action. I'll go ahead and close my block editor and save the changes. Now when I select the set of trees here, I have my new rotate handle and I can go ahead and click it. And as you can see, it instantly puts me into the rotate command and allows me to rotate my block. To summarize then, to add the rotation action, we just simply add the rotation parameter, then add the rotation action and select our objects. And just like that, we have the rotation action added to a dynamic block. That concludes this look at adding the rotation action to a dynamic block in AutoCAD.